when did that get here? Speaking of snakes, today is National Reptile Day. Ava, you forgot to introduce yourself. Whoops, my name is Ava. And I'm Autumn. Today is 10 21, 21. Guess what? Is there an alien invasion? No, but next Friday is Halloween Parade. The okay. clues for the mystery person are, they enjoy the Avengers series. They enjoy see sightseeing. And they enjoy eating at restaurants. Now on to Alex with the weather. I am Alex with the weather and for Friday, the high will be 86 degrees and the low will be 70 degrees. On Saturday, it will, all, uh, will be the same uh, with the high of 86 and two degrees above for the low of 72. On Sunday, it's a little bit less. For the high, it's 84 and then the low is uh, 72 once again. Now on to Lily and Julian with the interview. Hello, Faye family. And this is the interview for National Reptile Day. And here's Mr. Hutera, say hi. Hello. And we're going to be interviewing him and some of his reptiles, so. Yep, reptiles are my favorite animals, and I brought a few of them to share today with the Faye family. Yay. So the first one we're gonna do is this guy right here. <gasps> so this is Gizmo. Hello, Gizmo. What type of gecko or reptile is he? So he's a leopard gecko. How long have you had Gizmo? I've had Gizmo for five or six years now. How old is he? I got him as an adult, so I'm not exactly sure, but they can live up to 15 years. Oh. Where did you get him? Uh, I got him at a pet store. He's a, leopard geckos are very common animals to have as pets. Oh, what does he eat? He leopard eat? geckos eat mainly insects. Uh, oh. So I feed him mealworms and crickets. Cool. Now, what do you have next for us? He has next, three reptiles in case y'all want them. I've got another friend here. So this is Penelope. Hello, Penelope, it's so cute. She's a ball python. She's pretty it? nice. Hello. Oh, it feels so What did it feel like to you? It sort of feels like slimy, but not quite. Yeah, it's like not wet, but I it's smooth. I never knew how she's like So her tongue's flicking around. Do you know why they do that? Isn't it? So they can smell? Isn't that their way of smell? Yep, so that's how they smell. So she's kind of checking out the area and seeing what's going on. Um, I got her just about a year ago when she was pretty small. Um, they'll live up to 30 years around. Yeah and maybe get five or six feet long. So oh, she's just um, gonna get a bit bigger than this. So ball what? pythons are a, a constrictor, which means they're really good at grabbing onto things. As you can see, she's kind of doing here with my hand. The ball pythons, they kill their prey by like squeezing them. So does she have teeth or does she like just have like a little teeth? Right? So they do have teeth. They just don't have the big fangs like you see with mm -hmm. venomous snakes. But yeah, so they, they, have, they still have teeth but they're kind of just for grabbing yeah. on. I'm assuming she's not venomous? She's not venomous. Hi, big family. Mr. Hero, what do you have next? So I've got one more snake for y'all. So this is Holly. She's a hognose snake. So unlike my, the other two pets I showed you, this is a pet that you might find in the wild in Texas. How old is she? Um, I'm not sure. I got her when she was already an adult. So this is about as big as they're gonna get. Why are they called hognose snakes? So they're called hognose snakes because they have a pointy little nose that looks kind of like a hog. But they use that little pointy snout to dig around in the dirt and find toads. That's the main thing they eat. Now on to Bayou Buddies with Liam. Now it's time for Bayou Buddies. The Bayou Buddy for this week is Drum roll, please. The five line skink. Threatened by a predator, this lizard will shed all or part of its tail. The tail will keep quivering as the lizard runs away. The quivering tail often distracts the snake, bird, or other predator just enough to save the, the lizard that is running away. If both the tail and the lizard survive the attack, five line skinks are known to return to the tail and eat it. Adult male five line skinks will aggressively defend their territory against other males. Females are not minded. Males develop a bright orange chin during mating season in an attempt to 
attract females. Five line skinks grow about five to eight and a half inches long. Since five line skinks change color as they get older, the best way to determine age is examine scale patterns. Now back to the anchors. Welcome back. Now for the mystery person. Drum roll, please. Miss Newkirk! <laughs> 